into what you see here. And uh, the reason I built it outside of honoring my husband and blocking six homes from being built on this beautiful property <laughs> with heritage trees, thank you, I love green space, yes. is, is, and I have help, teamwork, um, the guy that built this tower and, and the company that he works for, Guido and Grant, they fabricated this tower, the carport, many things that you see here, they're here today. But the special part of today is it's the first time that I've invited automotive students to come. So I want to just tell you two seconds about Driven to Care. My husband and I started Driven to Care about 40 years ago, maybe. And we gave away, we didn't give us a car dealer, we gave away 73 refurbished cars to family in need. And when he passed, I decided to keep the same name, Driven to Care. We were scholarshiping two students in automotive tech, but I wanted to really capture my husband's spirit, and he was more than tech. So I decided to expand our Driven to Care program where we scholarship automotive engineers, techs, vintage car re restoration, dealership marketing and management, people that go specifically into motorsport, and then we host student experiences behind the scenes so they can see, learn about track operations, track support. Or Keith Humphreys, who's here from Ferrari of Austin, just hosted 81 automotive students from the surrounding area so they could learn about all the different departments at Ferrari and at other dealerships, it, it applies. We have sales, you have service, you have parts. So the students need to know and want them exposed to all the different branches that exist in the automotive industry. But today is extra special because yesterday I went to Texas State University and looked at their engineering program, which is very different than UT engineering program where we also scholarship students. But I want you to hear from them what they do and so that you learn about Driven to Care and what we're doing. So I want to introduce to you the Texas State University Society of Automotive Engineering students and just let them give you a brief history about what they do because these are the kinds of students that we scholarship. Hi, I'm Thomas Fenn. I'm the president of Bobcat Racing, which is the uh, FSAE chapter at Texas State. Uh, we're just a bunch of students, and our task is to design and build a formula-style single-seater race car from scratch. It's entirely student-driven uh, and built, so we have to bring up all the funds ourselves, find sponsorships like that, and then also design and construct the car all ourselves. Uh, so we're a pretty multifaceted team. Uh, we have a bunch of engineers uh, that work together to get the car uh, built. And then we also have a business team that come together trying to get companies to help us out with either materials or uh, monetary sponsorships. Yeah. It's a pretty great experience for students because we get to get real experience with engineering or you know sales or stuff like that. But we're doing it in the context of an organization at our school instead. So it's a pretty uh, awesome opportunity for us. I asked Bobcat because we scholarship students, we don't scholarship programs and they are working on a $10,000 budget. Their competing, their competing schools have about 50,000 plus. They gave me a gift, which was completely uh, unexpected. Bobcat Racing, Texas State University. They made this in-house. They have amazing equipment. This is really about the students. And John's legacy is about the students. So that's what I wanted to say. I welcome you, enjoy the rest of the day. Lisa, did I do okay? Short, not 30 minutes? Yes. Okay. All right, welcome. <laughs>